Basalt, is an aphanitic fine-grained, extrusive igneous rock formed from the rapid cooling of low viscosity lava rich in magnesium and iron mafique lava exposed at or very near the surface of a rocky planet or moon. More than 90% of all volcanic rock on Earth is basalt. Rapid cooling, fine-grained basalt is chemically equivalent to slow cooling, coarse-grained gabbro. The eruption of basalt lava is observed by geologists at about 20 volcanoes per year. Basalt is also an important rock type on other planetary bodies in the solar system. For example, the bulk of the plains of Venus, which cover approximately 80% of the surface, are basaltic, the lunar maria are plains of flood basaltic lava flows, and basalt is a common rock on the surface of Mars. Sometimes feldspathoids or olivine molten basalt lava has a low viscosity due to its relatively low silica content between 45% and 52%, resulting in rapidly moving lava flows that can spread over great areas before cooling and solidifying. Flood basalts are thick sequences of many such flows that can cover hundreds of thousands of square kilometers and constitute the most voluminous of all volcanic formations. Group, volcanic. Color, dark gray to black. Texture, aphanitic, can be porphyritic. Mineral content, ground mass generally of pyroxene, augite, plagioclase and olivine, possibly with minor glass, if porphyritic the phenocrysts will be any of olivine, pyroxene or plagioclase. Silica, silicon oxide 2, content 45% to 52%. Petrology, the mineralogy of basalt is characterized by a preponderance of calcic plagioclase feldspar and pyroxene. Olivine can also be a significant constituent. Accessory minerals present in relatively minor amounts include iron oxides and iron titanium oxides, such as magnetite, and ilmenite. Because of the presence of such oxide minerals, basalt can acquire strong magnetic signatures as it cools, and paleomagnetic studies have made extensive use of basalt. East Carolina University Homepage, Geology 1501 Porphyritic basalt type igneous rock texture porphyritic origin extrusive volcanic chemical composition mafique color dark gray to black mineral composition calcium plagioclase, pyroxene miscellaneous calcium plagioclase phenocrysts in an aphanitic, fine-grained, ground mass tectonic environment divergent boundary or intra-oceanic hot spots in thol iitic basalt, pyroxene, augite and orthopyroxene or pigeonite and calcium-rich plagioclase are common phenocryst minerals. Olivine may also be a phenocryst, and when present, may have rims of pigeonite. The ground mass contains interstitial quartz or tridimite. Olivine thol iitic basalt has augite and orthopyroxene or pigeonite with abundant olivine, but olivine may have rims of pyroxene and is unlikely to be present in the ground mass. Alteration of basalt, metamorphism Metamorphosed basalts are important hosts for a variety of hydrothermal ore deposits, including gold deposits, copper deposits, volcanogenic massive sulfide ore deposits and others. Weathering of basalt, compared to other rocks found on Earth's surface, basalts weather relatively fast. The typically iron-rich minerals oxidize rapidly in water and air, staining the rock a brown to red color due to iron oxide rust. Chemical weathering also releases readily water-soluble cations such as calcium, sodium and magnesium, which give basaltic areas a strong buffer capacity against acidification. Calcium released by basalts binds up Colorado II from the atmosphere forming calcium carbonate acting thus as a CO2 trap. To this it must be added that the eruption of basalt itself is often associated with the release of large quantities of CO2 into the atmosphere from volcanic gases. Uses of basalt Basalt is used in construction, e.g. as building blocks or in the groundwork, making cobblestones from columnar basalt, and in making statues. Heating and extruding basalt yields stone wool, said to be an excellent thermal insulator. Carbon sequestration in basalt has been studied as a means of removing carbon dioxide, produced by human industrialization, from the atmosphere. Underwater basalt deposits, scattered in seas around the globe, have the added benefit of the water serving as a barrier to the re-release of CO2 into the atmosphere.